geometric meaning of zeros of a polynomial if we plot the graph of polynomial then zeros of a polynomial signify points of intersection on the x axis for example for linear polynomial the graph will be straight line which may or may not intersect x axis suppose y is equal to p of x which is equal to 2x plus 3 then 0 is equal to p of k is equal to 2k plus 3 that is k is equal to minus 3 by 2 plotting k is equal to minus 3 by 2 and other points and then joining the points we get y is equal to 2x plus 3 For 2x plus 3, graph will be a straight line which crosses the x-axis at minus 3 by 2, 0. Hence, minus 3 by 2 is a zero of a polynomial. Graph of quadratic equation can take one of the two shapes, called as parabola. In either case, the graph can intersect x-axis at maximum two points. This signifies that a quadratic equation can have maximum two zeros, but the graph may or may not intersect the x-axis. Thus, it gives rise to three cases. Case one: graph cuts x-axis at two distinct points, a and a dash. In this case, the polynomial has two zeros. That is. A and A dash. Case two, graph cuts at exactly one point. In this case, polynomial has only one zero. That is the common point with the graph and the x-axis. Case three. In this case, graph did not cut x-axis and remains either above or below the x-axis. In this case, the polynomial has no zero. relationship between zeros and coefficient of polynomial for a linear polynomial ax plus b the zero is minus b by a let us find the relationship between zeros and coefficient of quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 0 and alpha and beta are zeros of the polynomial then we can say that p of x is equal to k multiplied by x minus alpha x minus beta where k is constant hence ax square plus bx plus c is equal to k multiplied by x minus alpha x minus beta on simplifying rhs we get ax square plus bx plus c is equal to kx square minus k into alpha plus beta into x plus k into alpha into beta comparing both sides we get ax square is equal to kx square that is a is equal to k Similarly, b is equal to minus k into alpha plus beta. As a is equal to k, then the equation becomes b is equal to minus a into alpha plus beta. That is, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b divided by a. Sum of zeros. Is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a, which is equal to minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Also, c is equal to k into alpha into beta. That is, product of zeros is equal to alpha into beta is equal to c by a. which is equal to constant term 
divided by coefficient of x square. Example: Find the zeros of quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. Solution: We have x square plus 7x plus 10, which is equal to x plus 2 into x plus 5. So the value of x square plus 7x plus 10 is 0. When x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. That is, when x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to minus 5. Therefore, the zeros of x square plus 7x plus 10 are minus 2 and minus 5. Now, sum of zeros is equal to minus 2 plus minus 5 which is equal to minus 7 divided by 1. That is minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Also, product of zeros is equal to minus 2 into minus 5 which is equal to 10 which is equal to 10 divided by 1. That is constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Zeros of cubic polynomial Similarly, cubic polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d can have maximum three zeros, say alpha, beta and gamma. Then alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. Alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha is equal to c by a. Alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus d by a.